everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be creating a fast food animation for an Instagram reel like this. So let's get started. First, create a new composition. I'll call this Render. And the preset I'm using is 1080 by 1920 with a duration of 10 seconds. Hit OK. Then, import the footage. Select all the files and open them. Drag them into the folder icon to create a new folder. Name it Folder. Now drag the background wall image into the timeline. Go to the Transform option and choose the Fit to Height option. Then drag the background PNG into the timeline. Next, drag the pizza image to the timeline. Decrease the scale value to 65. And pre-compose it. I'll call this Media. Now drag the fire footage into the timeline. Go to the Transform option. And again, select Fit to Height. Then go to the Blending Mode and choose Screen. Select the Ellipse tool and draw a circle. Like this, set the fill color to black and set stroke to none. Apply the Gaussian blur effect. Blurriness value is 50 and untick repeat edges. Lower the opacity to 50. Now select all the elements and drag them into the timeline. Position them randomly inside the frame. Just like this. Now let's type the text. I'm using the Gagalin font. Increase the text size. Like this. Perfect. Change the center text color to orange. Then drag the brush circle into the timeline and decrease the scale value. Now duplicate the text and change it to free home delivery. Apply the fill effect to the circle PNG. Next, drag the brush PNG into the timeline. Adjust it like this. Decrease the scale to 70. Now type the Order Now text. Change the color to black. And use the Poppins font. I'm using the extra bold version. Then duplicate the text. Change its color to white. And type the website text. Decrease the font size to 50 and change the font version to semi-bold. If you enjoy my content, please consider supporting me on Patreon for only $5. It really helps a lot. Now, let's create the animation. Select the random elements. Press R for rotation. Create a keyframe around 10 seconds, then change the first value to 1. Select the other elements and animate them. Create keyframes around 10 seconds. 
Then at the very first second, adjust the rotation values. Like this. Now select the tomato element. Apply the fast box blur. Set the blur radius to 5 and the iterations to 1. Copy the effect and apply it to the other elements. Let's animate the text. Using the pre-made preset, set the keyframes like this. Then animate the other text with another preset. Set the keyframes like this. Now, animate the circle, create a shape. Just like this. Use the vertex tool, click on the anchor points to round the shape. Perfect. Add the trim path. And animate the end value. Change the layer sequence. Make sure the shape layer is above the brush circle. Change the track mat. Let's animate the brush PNG, pre-compose it and open the composition. Duplicate the brush layer. Animate the position. Like this, change the track mat to brush PNG. Select both keyframes and apply Easy Ease. I'm using Keyframe Wingman. By the way, it's free. Now duplicate both layers. Animate their position. Like this, perfect. Go back to the render composition. Animate the order now text using the pre-made preset. Then animate the website text. Adjust the position and opacity. Just like this, perfect. Select all keyframes and apply Easy Ease. Now select all the layers and turn them into 3D layers. Create a new camera. Use the 35 mm preset, hit OK, go to the camera options and select Create Orbit Null Layer. Press P for position, hold the Alt key and click on the stopwatch. Type the wiggle expression First value is 1.5, second is 20, press R for rotation, create a keyframe at the very first second, change the third value to 5, then around 5 seconds, set it to negative 5. Now let's fix this black area. Apply the motion tile effect to the background wall image. Increase the output height, like this, and tick the mirror edges option. Create a null layer. Convert it into 3D. 
Pick Whip the Orbit Layer to the Null Layer. Animate the position and rotation. Set keyframes around one second. Then go back to the first frame and change the values. Like this, perfect. Select all the keyframes, apply Easy Ease, and adjust the speed graph. And your graph should look like this. Perfect. And finally, turn on the motion blur for all layers. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to support me on Patreon. And if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.